everyone this is a trader investor uh, video on AMC for today we have to keep uh, monitoring AMC on a daily basis because there is some expectation there's a lot of price uh, action now if you were a regular trader and your stock moved 14% in one day it's a beautiful beautiful day there's no complaint anybody who enters at any level and they get a 14% the very next day it's a beautiful move in amc that wasn't too exciting for me why wasn't it exciting because i want price to come down here i want i really want price to come down here. i know a lot of you are not going to be happy about this statement but what it does for all of us for all of us not just me it gives us a fantastic buying opportunity especially in the options the options now as every time price moves up volatility for this stock the implied volatility that is for every month stays very high i want that implied volatility to drop so i can accumulate position down here accumulate position and for me my next option position accumulation is probably going to look at the july 16 expiration that's what I'm going to look at. I'm, uh, definitely, I'm going to look at the open interest, the volumes when, when I do get ready to enter. Based on that is what I want to enter. Because if we don't have the volume, if we don't have the open interest, then there is really not a lot of uh, possibilities to look at if we don't have what it takes. But I do want to show you uh, just a number here. The volume for uh this week's expiration july 11th 60 dollar call for amc traded at nine dollars and 30 cents at the close of the day nine dollars and 30 cents there was seventy three thousand contracts the open interest was twenty four thousand. so we know for sure already it's way above uh, open interest it's an accumulation it's not selling people are accumulating expecting a big move to start happening i don't want to participate yet i feel like the hedge funds are going to bring in more tricks to drive price down they, they will do it for two reasons one they always want to win they want to kick us out and they want this retailer small time players who have uh, utility rent mortgage bills at play they want them out so they will scare them but two they are going to buy options as well they know they're going to get caught with their pants down so the only way to recover from that mess is to buy options some of them did buy options for june 18 expiration which i'm sure they've already uh, captured and if we look at the 40 dollar uh, strike price uh $40 strike price for June 18th. I'm just taking a look at that for you for here. If we look at the $40 strike price, the volume is already way, way down. We had gone uh, past, I, I, I haven't taken a screenshot of this, but I know we were at 145,000 at one point and we were much higher than that. And right now we are at 133,000. So, so we know already some people have taken off their positions, including myself, taken off our positions. And so these hedge funds who are being caught in this saga, they're going to buy some options and they're going to wait for us to be able to ride with them. Even though they want to take the price down, but they're going to protect themselves and we're going to protect, we're going to buy and accumulate those positions with them. And that's why I want price to come down here. IV will drop significantly. So instead of buying one contract, I can buy 10. Instead of 10, I can buy 100. And by I, I mean all of us, right? So depending on the account size we have, we can uh, multiply our option position order of magnitude multiplication. If IV crashes for a little bit, price comes down, it gives us an opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. It doesn't matter whether you have $10,000 or $1,000 to put into AMC today. If price comes down, your $1,000 is going to 
buy you a lot more options at a much lower strike price, giving you a much, much greater return possibility. So the short squeeze is coming. That's my belief. I am a strong believer of that short squeeze. It is coming as it is coming as we ride that short squeeze. I would like price to come down first. I'm going to keep advocating for price to come down. Now, technically speaking, if you look at technically speaking, and uh, let me erase this first, technically speaking, what are we seeing? A high, a lower high, a lower high. And then what else did we see today? An equal high. So what does that tell me? Well, if, uh, if we look at this trend line, if we look at this trend line, this ascending triangle usually means price is going to go this way, right? If, if we kind of assume like this is our triangle, uh, this is our triangle. It's not really an ascending triangle, but it could be close to an ascending triangle or it could be a bull flag because we're coming from here. Either way, it's, it's an uh, up move. The reason why I said ascending triangle, it wasn't because of this trend line. I was looking at it from this trend line perspective. So this right here, today's action was contained in that, uh, the tip of this trend line of this triangle. So if we draw this triangle right here, and so again, it's a push up, but there are occasions where price dives down and I want to get that 25. I really want us to get, go to that 25 and load up, load up, load up, load up and get our second opportunity. This move last week, Wednesday was a good payday. I want another good payday, but I, this time I don't want a good payday. I want a fantastic payday. That's what I'm looking for. This is how the charts will tell us when that happens. And if that doesn't happen, I'm okay with that because why am I okay with that? I, I, if you think I'm missing out opportunities, I'm not. I already have stocks that I am not selling until we get past 200. So I'm still going to make money when that squeeze comes, if it comes without giving me a buying opportunity. If uh, another possibility is price uh, stays in this uh, range for a while, for a few days, it stays in this range and IV slowly decreases, slowly decreases. Right now, the June 18 implied volatility is 400%. That's a crazy volatility, right? That's, those options are expensive. 300% for the July uh, expiration, July 16th expiration. Uh, to, uh, this week's expiration, 440% because there's a lot of expectation that price could uh, drive up today. But as soon as price stabilizes and starts to go down, it gives us buying opportunity. Just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. Have a position where if it doesn't go down, you're going to capture the upward movement. But if it goes down, have a plan. My plan is 20 to 30 area. Somewhere in that area, I'm going to load up. I'm going to load up. And you can even start thinking about loading up $100 strike price. $75 strike price. I'm probably going to do much lower than that for a strike price because I want to get a lot of gains. It all depends on how much IV comes down. It all depends on how low we come down on price and what the uh, options price are. It all depends on that. But I'm looking at getting the maximum possible, assuming that once the squeeze happens, we're going to get past 200. That's my assumption. So even if I do get a hundred dollar strike price, price gets to 200. Even if it happens the last two, three days of before expiration, that's a one to one, uh, stock price to, uh, strike price, meaning it's going to be a hundred dollars per contract, hundred times a hundred. Just, you can uh, imagine that's, uh, it's quite a significant move, right? It's $10,000 per contract once it moves $100 and multiply that by the number of contracts that you have. Uh, that's why I'm thinking even $100 is not going to be a bad thing if you are in the belief that we're going to get significantly higher than 100 and those options cost you 
dirt cheap so you can load up load up meaning you can buy 50 contracts 100 contracts 200 contracts i don't know what your account size is uh, don't go crazy uh, buy as much as you can say if it goes to zero i lose zero sleep maybe five minutes of sleep if you lose five minutes of sleep that's okay but if if you lose a whole night's sleep every single day until expiration and then at expiration you go crazy then you're way over leveraged you're investing too much don't do that but if the opportunity presents itself don't be scared either don't be scared to buy 100 contracts 200 contracts if your account size allows it if that goes to zero you will not lose sleep don't be scared it, the moment you get to a threshold where you say above this amount i have zero comfort that's the, that's the maximum threshold and that threshold for some people could be two contracts could be one contract you get to that threshold done right don't borrow money don't take money from uh, utility rent uh, mortgage that's a disaster uh, i know it's it's very tempting some people have made a ton of money doing that taking that kind of risk and some people have lost their lives taking that kind of risks so my advocate is not to load up and take risk what i advocate is load up as much as you can sustain without losing sleep and if that's one contract then it is one contract right and if you can say i can go to 10 but i'm scared why are you scared you're scared because your why why you're in this trade is not very well defined right is your why to be able to pay a single bill or is your why to be able to change your lifestyle do you know your why and does your account size as you risk align with your why a line doesn't mean because you want to get out of here, you should risk everything. That's not what I mean by a line is if this is what you want and your account affords you to take the risk for this, go for this. Don't set it for down here because your account size allows it. If your account size is this is your dream, but your account size allows this, this is all you shoot for. Right? I don't want you to destroy your life because uh, options expire and if the hedge funds win temporarily, right? If it takes us two, three, four months, six months before we see the squeeze and you don't have that kind of time with your options, then minimize your risk, minimize your risk. I think this is the most critical thing that a lot of us don't talk about. People say, take a risk, take a risk, take a risk. Yes, scared money doesn't make money, but stupid money also loses money. So don't be scared, but don't be greedy. I think balance out the two and then you can move accordingly. And if you're not scared, if you don't lose sleep and if your risk appetite allows you to take one contract, 10 contracts, 50, 100, 200, you go for that. I don't know what the price is going to be when it comes down to 25. If we ever get there, that I'm loading up. Like I said earlier, I'm not loading up today because the IV is very high. So think of it this way. I am not scared to take a position. I'm not saying this is going to go to zero. That's why I'm not loading. No, but at the current price, when the IV is so high at the current price, even if I say, okay, I, I I'm willing to just go to uh, June 18th, right? If, even if I say that June 18th strike price, and I go to, uh, let's say 100, let, let, let's just assume that I'm very comfortable that we're going to get to 150 before June 18th. That's in a little less than two weeks. Those each contract is going to cost me $770. I buy 10, that's seven grand. I buy a hundred, that's 77. I'm definitely not buying a hundred at 77,000. That's this just not going to happen. I'm, I might not even buy 10 at that price because I'm looking at the reward and the risk and at, you know, is it there for two weeks? 
we're thinking about two weeks, right? Is the squeeze going to happen in two weeks? I don't have a guarantee that the squeeze is going to happen in two weeks. Therefore, I'm not willing to take that risk. If price comes down and IV comes down significantly, the reason why IV is not coming down right now is because we really pushed up, right? For a couple of weeks, we've been pushing up, pushing up, and we really pushed up last week, Wednesday, and price is staying near the highs of that push up. Right. As soon as we come back down to a level where we were at a couple of weeks ago, IV is going to calm down. So I want IV to calm down. Calm down quick so we can load up. I want you to load up. I want to help you load up. And this is why I'm advocating that we wait patiently for here. If not, our stocks are going to take us up here. We're going to ride it. But, you know, Sometimes our stocks is not going to be life changing, depending on how many shares you buy, but getting an options opportunity where you can load up, that could be a life changing opportunity. So define your why, define your risk, and be patient to wait. Don't lose sleep, no, no more than five minutes. I, I allow you to lose sleep for five minutes, but don't lose sleep, please. Just take it easy. And I know today's price action looks very uh, tempting. It looks like, yeah, we're uh, moving back up. It looks like we're doing uh, great today. Yes, like I said earlier, 14% in one day is, is an awesome day. But in light of what we're expecting, not yet. Let's be patient. Let's go get it. Let's wait for this pullback so we can load up. All right, everyone, take care. And I will see you tomorrow. I'll definitely take a look at AMC and what AMC does in the pre-market in the morning. All right, take care for now.